Hey guys, this is TechOver. As you know, Apple launches a new iPhone every year and needless to say, lots of Android users switch from Android to iOS every year. Some of them who are completely new to Apple ecosystem make the mistake of setting up their iPhone right away without transferring the data from their old Android. They feel frustrated when they find that now they have to factorize their iPhone to transfer data from their old Android to iPhone. If you are one of them, then do watch this video. In this video, I will show you how to transfer data from Android to iPhone after setup using two easy ways. So let's get started. Let's go ahead to see my photos and videos I have here on my Android device. And my first recommendation to transfer data from Android to iPhone after setup involves the use of Move to iOS app. It is the official method and it is absolutely free. But you will have to factor reset your device first before proceeding further. Let me tell you a few other cons of using Move to iOS app to move data from Android to iPhone after setup. Everything will be transferred wirelessly, but it will take a long time to transfer everything from one phone to another. If you have large amount of data on Android, then it could take more than 24 hours as well. Some people will find it extremely difficult to transfer their text messages from Android to iPhone with the move to iOS app. Now I'll show you how it's done and remember to back up your important files you have here on your iPhone device because we're going to reset it to get our Android device files. So go to setting, iCloud and we have iCloud backup. So you're going to click on backup now, you will get your all, all files backed up. In your iPhone iCloud account and remember to have a free space on your iCloud. So it's time to reset my iPhone device. Just go on setting, find out the general, scroll all the way down and you will get transfer and reset iPhone device. Use erase all the content then click on continue, erase your iPhone. If you have an iCloud account you have to sign up from your iCloud account. My iPhone device has been reset and now we're gonna finish up the startup setup. We're gonna choose language, country, go click up setup manually, continue, connect your iPhone device to any Wi-Fi to have internet connection, wait for a few minutes and then you will get this. Click on continue and I'm just going to set don't use on this time. We go click on don't use passcode and don't use passcode again and we have move, move data from Android. Go click on this option and you can see we have to download the move to iOS in our Android devices play store. Let me type here move to iOS. Once I got that I'm going to install that to my Android device and we're going to transfer all our data from our Android device to iPhone. So we go click on content you can see I got a code click on content again on your Android device agree don't send continue and you can see we get all the way again continue you have to draw the code you got here on your iPhone device. Then wait for a few seconds and it's going to be connected to each other. Now you can control and transfer your data. So we have messages, contest calendar, goal account, photo library, display setting, accessibility setting, add files. So I just want to transfer my all photos and videos. I don't have messages and contact in my Android device. When I click on here, you can see now transferring the data. And I have to wait for a few moments and it's going to be transferred. I have just about 3 GB of files, now it's showing me 4 minutes. If you have more than 4 or 5 GB of files, like 50 or 80 GB of files in your Android device, it will take more than 24 hours because it's going to be done while asleep. I'm going to cancel the transfer file from Android to iPhone because it will take more than 10 minutes and I'm sure about that we got some of the photos on it. 
so I'm just going to click on don't transfer just click over here and I'm just going to set up later in the setting don't use the apply ID for now and when I just click on agree I'm going to click on continue continue again enable location services continue share with Apple and share with developer continue I'm just going to choose the drive them then go click on get started and you can see or iPhones ready when I open my gallery you can say I got my photos but there's not the video just want for my Android device and those videos about just three or two gigabytes I got all the small size of photos you see on my iPhone device for my Android now I'm just going to clear all the photos I got from my phone and I just want to show you the second method about how we can transfer data from Android to iPhone so let me delete them all I'm going to click on album and just want to remove from recently deleted selecting all and deleting all that's it in the second method I will show you use a third-party tool called Transco to move all the data from Android to iPhone after setup the best part of using this tool is that you don't have to erase data from your iPhone by doing factory reset it will not overwrite anything on your iPhone the whole process will be complete under 13 minutes or so tool can be downloaded from the iPhone to PC website and the link are in the description and comment section. Here I just opened the Transco and you can see we have three options. First one Android to iOS, second one is iOS to Android and the third one transfer WhatsApp data. We're going to use the first one Android to iOS. Now time to connect our Android and iPhone device with USB cable to our PC. Click on trust then tick this one okay back to your PC you can see when you click on install these applications will be installed to your devices then you're gonna click on start and you can see we have calendar context messages music photos and videos I'm going to transfer all the photos and videos I have here on my Android device and when I click over here we have to click on all though to get permission to transfer what we have here on our Android device to iPhone. So you can see I got 2 gigabyte of videos and just only 86 megabyte of photos. Photos will be transferred just in a second and videos will take like about 2 minutes. And we're gonna wait and it's going to be done then we're gonna check our iPhone device. As you can see transfer has been done successful now time to check our iPhone device when I click to open the photos you can see I got all the photos and videos of my Android device with Transco here on my iPhone device and this is the easiest way about how we can transfer data from Android to iPhone hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel share this video to your friends if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button see until the next quick tutorial videos bye bye my friends peace